Folks. Folks. <clears throat> that is both delicious and refreshing. It's time to make a malt liquor video. It's time to make a high gravity malt liquor video. St. Ides high gravity malt liquor. The date on this bottle is August 29th, 2022. Need I say again? No, I don't, but I'm going to. It is motherfucking delicious. Shout out to my young dude, Ethan. This video, this beer is for you, Ethan. I know you motherfuckers say, why does, why does Ethan deserve a video? What the fuck, man? Where's my video? Uh, you don't deserve a video. Ethan deserves a fucking video. So the clip I threw in, the beginning of this video was Ethan um, at the uh, big ball, the 10 foot ball at Hill Street. Um, I was up there with him about two weeks ago and um, he was going for a front side grind in the deep end, the 10 foot pocket. I was like, dude, man, you got it. I was watching him. He easily got one in the middle pocket, the seven foot pocket. Oh. So I was like, dude, you got this shit. He was getting super close every time. Oh. I was like, man, don't even think about the grind. Just go through it like you're doing a high front side carve. You got the shit. Well, he was getting close. Anyway, uh, Sunday night. He's up there, and um, I'd FaceTimed him because uh, I wanted to talk to him about something different that happened. He's like, no, nah, dude, I'm up here at the bowl. And I was, I'm, at, I'm at the park. I'm like, dude, would you get that grind yet? So I feel personally responsible for this. He's like, nah, man, I'm going up. I'm going to get it right now. So he had him and a buddy filming. He was doing it, you know, getting close as shit to it. I was like, oh, it's going to happen. But it wasn't happening. I was like, all right, well, dude, I got to run. Um... Catch, keep doing it, man. Catch that clip. Send me a clip when you get it. Well, the clip I fucking got is not the one that I wanted to get. It's this one where Ethan caught the grind. A little off balance coming down. Hold on. Ah. Went to catch himself with his left hand. Watch his left hand in that video. The shit just buckles behind him. Um, not sure if he need. I haven't talked to him too much since then. Um, I will though. I don't know if he needs surgery. What's going on? I have to uh, see what's up. But um, dude, here's to healing the old arm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play one of Ethan's favorite songs right now. Um, I probably won't play the whole thing. I don't want to get you know whatever. But here we go. Yeah, just a little little clip of Ethan's favorite song, basically. So, but um, yeah, man, we all know. I mean, I do feel guilty for it to an extent, and he understands this too. 
I was pushing him to do this, but that's what we do. You know, as skaters, we push each other to do certain things. Um, and we all know the risk. We all assume the risk. But yeah, there is a part of me that feels super guilty because Ethan's been working fucking hard as shit at work. He does landscaping. Working overtime and shit, so this is gonna freaking impede that shit. And I don't know, man. I, I feel that's the part I feel really guilty about. But I know it's not my fault. <clears throat> Ethan will heal. He will get that fucking front side grind in the deep end when he heals up. So hopefully we'll hang out Friday night. Bunch of old dudes and young dudes. Bring some coolers, some grills, grill out, whatever. Hopefully little homie can, uh, you know, hang out, catch some good vibes, right? So here we are. Once again, we find ourselves at the swill of a Joe Skull video. Um, let's just everybody put out some positive vibes, some healing vibes for Ethan. He's a badass dude. Um, he's gonna get this shit, he's gonna heal up and get this shit. So, anyway, Ethan, buddy, here's to you. Swill, swill. Chilly chill. I didn't.